All right, guys, it's now time for another challenge as me. This time is going to be my first ever hunter trial. So yes, I will be doing my first ever hunter trial. And for you guys that might not know what a hunter trial is, it's pretty much eventing without the show jumping and dressage. So it's just pure cross country. Um, so I've never actually done a hunter trial before. I'm going to be doing it on Joey, who has never done a hunter trial before. So am I jumping into the deep end? Probably a little bit. So I've done cross country once on Joey before and we had so much fun. He was so good. I don't know how much cross country he's done before I got him. I think he's done like a little bit, but um, he was like a duck to water. He took it so naturally. And for our first competition, yes, we are going to be doing cross country. I was gonna, th I was thinking, ah, oh, I'll do some dressage or maybe some show jumping, um, you know, ease us into it, but no. I've decided to do a hunter trial because there was a local one on to me and I thought, you know what, that sounds like really good fun, it'll be low pressure. I'm just going to take it as in, we're just going for a little hack with a few jumps in between. You know, I thought it'd be a little bit less pressure actually because there won't be loads of people watching me in the ring because it's over loads of different fields. Hopefully not many people can then watch me ride. Um, but no, I thought it'd be really good fun. I don't have to worry about him like knocking any of the poles, obviously we have to get over the jumps. Um, but no, I thought it'd be good fun. So today I'm actually going to be taking Joey out cross country schooling for the first time on grass. I have previously taken him to Hickstead as I said before which he found so much fun but obviously that's like on sand or on an arena so it'll be our first time on grass so I've got my studs so hopefully he won't be slipping around on the grass so he'll um, have a lot of grip. I've got all of the stuff in the back so I thought I'd show you around how I sort of organise the back of my tack room in the van because there is a lot of kit for cross country. All right guys, so here is where I store all of my tack. I'm gonna to start top to bottom. So right at the top, I have my stud girth. Um, so because Joey will be studded up and also we're jumping as well, I just quite like to use it for jumping because it means that when he goes over a jump and he lifts his legs up, um, it doesn't like hit his tummy, it hits the stud, stud girth instead. So that's why it's a bit bigger. <laughs> and then I also have my Voltaire design saddle, my um, Lumia saddle pad. Today we're going for the blue. We're being very, very matchy. Um, I also have my bra bridle this is just the one I use for absolutely everything I'm lucky that I can ride Joey in a snaffle for all disciplines so I use this for dressage I use it for show jumping and cross country as well today um, then I have my Ariat Vortexes these are my boots I'm going to be wearing today for me just keep them in the back too sometimes I like to keep them at the front and put my boots on uh, um, while we're on the journey so I'm all ready but because it's quite muddy at the moment I don't particularly want them to get really muddy so I'll probably get changed and put them on in the back here um, I just have my cross-country stick oh I also have my Charles Owen helmet again we are very very matchy today with the with the blue but I think it'll look pretty cool um, and then oh I've got my massive Lumia box which has a lot of stuff in. <laughs> All right, where do we start? I'm gonna pop this back now because it's got a lot of things in. Oop, oop. What's in the box? All right, so if I open this up, we have a lot of things. I have my studs in this little box here. I also have my stud plugs. So these are little plugs I like to put in Joey's um, the stud holes after or before I put the studs in. So while the studs are in there, obviously they're not in, but these just keep the holes nice and clean. So then when he goes out in the field, lots of muds, mud and stones don't get in the um, little stud hole. I also have a little grooming brush because my horses like to always get dirty. Again, I have a sponge because my horses always like to get dirty. And then I have Joey's overreach boots because obviously we're doing cross country, these will protect him. Also, if he overreaches, so his back legs go too far, he won't clip his legs like that. Um, what else do I have in here? I have all of my cross country boots. So these are the front ones, got the back ones as well. Cross country boots are really cool because they have little holes in here. So it means if you go in a water jump or if you go in water, all of the water drains out so they don't get really heavy and wet. And also these are super, super strong. These are the carbon air ones. So it's, you can pretty much like knock on it like that. And, but they're still really flexible and they're just, oh, I love cross country boots. They're so protective. Anyway, next thing I have 
like always, my gloves, because I'm one of those people that can't ride without gloves. I just have really sensitive hands and skin, so I always have to wear gloves. If not, my fingers get ripped to shreds. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have my little stud kit. So this is actually a pencil case, a clear one, and I just keep loads of stuff in here. So I have Vaseline jelly, and I have a little cotton wool that I like to use to put in the stud holes sometimes. Um, that's what I used to use before the stud plugs, but I find the stud plugs work better, so I use them. I have um, this cool little thing, um, so this is for cleaning out the stud holes, it's got a little metal wire brush, also a little pick at the end, um, and what else um, in here is really useful, ah, a spanner for doing up the studs. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in the pencil case and pretty much everything in my little box. So now the back is all nice and packed up and ready to go. Oh wait, there's one more thing I haven't shown you guys. Let me lean over. I have, of course, my body protector because you have to wear one for cross country. You also have to make sure that it's up to the um, standards that are currently for um, whatever competition you're doing. So yeah, that's really important. And then I also have my air jacket as well, but that's just behind in a box. Doesn't look very interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do this up. Everything is now ready to go. Last thing I need to go and get is Joey. Come on then. It's a bit muddy out there, isn't it? Good man. Come on in. Round we go. Shall we dry your leggingtons off? Let's tie you up, shall we? All right guys, so I now have Joey here. I've just washed off his hooves because it's a little bit muddy at the moment here. Hopefully the cross country course isn't as muddy. No, it should be fine. Yes, oh, you're very licky today. Anyway, we actually have five days until the actual competition. So today's our last time going out cross country before the event. So I'm very excited, but we are gonna take it nice and slow. Obviously I've done a lot of cross country before in my past. I've been doing cross country since I was eight when I started Pony Club. No, don't chew that. I've just never done it in a competitive environment before because Casper was never the fondest of competition. He is a quite a nervous horse. So with all the loud speakers and all the people, he just wasn't very happy. So that's why I haven't done much competition with him, um, especially like cross country wise. So I'm so excited. It's obviously Joey's first outing with me. That is a competition. So we're gonna take it nice and slow, nice and easy. We're doing the 80. So a few of the fences we've probably trot in if we get like a dodgy line and things like that hey but it should be fine we're gonna take it nice and slow today as well start off with a few little logs gradually build it up but we're not gonna do anything wild he's still young and we just we're just here to have fun really my instructor was like yeah go for it go and have some fun see what he's like out at a party if it goes well great if it doesn't you'll learn something and yeah we'll have something to work on then yeah oh he's so good okay i need to get him groomed because we need to go soon yes Get you groomed up, so I will see you guys out on the cross country course. Good boy. You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. I still see your face in the empty frame by the door. Just like that Something about you is pulling me back And I'm holding on
Something about you is pulling me back And I'm holding on I've been swinging like a pendulum For you I've been swinging like a pendulum For you I'll go to bed and wake up broken hearted Just one more time So after our cross country training on grass, I was feeling super confident. Joey went really, really well, and I was really happy with him. So I thought right now, while I'm in the studio here, I would do a little bit of a story time about how our first show and our hunter trial went, because obviously on the day, my main focus was the horse, horse before filming. I wanted to make sure that Joey was happy and that I was focusing all of my attention on him. So we do have some footage and some photos that I'll put over the top and things but I thought with me talking here I can explain a little bit more about what happened during the day so it started off really early having to get Joey ready get my tack ready get ready to go and he actually loaded really quickly in about five minutes which is really good for Joey because we haven't done too much traveling with him and um, there are a lot of things that went well on the day there are some things that didn't go so well but I'll go into that later so there are a lot of positives I feel like with young horses and things a lot of people get bogged down in the nitty-gritty details but you've always got to think of the positives and the things that went well. Overall, it was a really successful day. So anyway, it was early morning. We It took about an hour and a half to get there. So that's actually the longest we've ever had with Joey in the van. And he traveled beautifully. It's just like the small things looking back on. Like the first time we traveled him, he was a little bit stressy. He wasn't the happiest. And he was so comfortable all the way there, munching on his hay, on his hay net and things. So anyway, we got there, we got him out. and. He he was as good as gold. I was expecting him to be super alert, super nervy, being like, oh my gosh, there are so many horses everywhere and everything. But he was really good. Um, something I didn't quite realize is, because um, I've never competed in cross country or a hunter trial before, is how long it takes to get ready because you've got your body protector, your air jacket, your medical armband. We also had to put Joey's studs in and he was so good to have his studs in as well. He stood perfectly still. So anyway, by the time we got to the warm-up um, the time was ticking because obviously um, with everything it's very much arrive compete and leave and we didn't want to be like hanging around there too long and things so we probably could have had a little bit more time in the warm-up I think the person that was before me um, was late or something so I could have gone earlier and things so um, I walked, trotted and cantered him round, popped over one jump, he did that really nicely. Um, he was a little bit in the warm up, a little bit more stressy. I wouldn't say he was like nervous or anything. He was just, it was a big atmosphere, lots of horses, but he was still as good as gold and really behaved himself. So that was a massive tick off my box, taking him somewhere new and him to just be so well behaved. I was super happy about that. So then it was time for us to go over to the start box. Again, I was thinking, hmm, he's never been in a start box before. I'm not sure what he'll be like going into it. He went straight in, took everything in his stride and then we were off. So the course was a little bit bigger than I was expecting. Obviously, before I did the hunter trial, I mentioned to my instructor, oh, there's a hunter trial on. I don't know if we should enter or not or if we're ready. And she was like, you know what? He's a young horse go for it, take it as like a sponsored ride. If there are some jumps that like you think, oh, that's a bit too big for him and things like that, just canter past. As long as I get him out there, get him to a new place and it's a positive experience, that's all that matters. So anyway, the first two, three fences, he jumps perfectly, we're going off, he feels great. And, um, and there was one time I think where, cause it's like, it was really cool course. So he started off on the gallop tracks and then it went onto the field. And then when we had to cross over the gallop tracks, obviously the guy blew the whistle to be like, okay, there's a horse coming through. And I think our sort of like, not our mojo, but 
we were in a really nice canter, really concentrating, the whistle blew, and obviously Joey hadn't really heard whistles or anything before, so he kind of just stopped dead in his tracks and was like, oh my gosh, what is that? So I was like, it's okay, baby Joey, let's go, let's carry on. So we went up the steps, he did that beautifully, and we carried around the course. There were a lot of big questions, there were some skinnies, there were some quite wide and big chunky fences as well. It was definitely a fill up 80 course. There was a corner that he didn't question at all, which was straight after going down um, some steps and things and he took everything in his stride and it started off really really well I was so happy there are a few fences where he his canter just kind of he lost his mojo and I think part of that was because he is a young horse his canter's still a little bit unbalanced and it takes a lot of energy for him to keep that really good cross-country canter and I think he just needs to get a little bit stronger. So um, there are a few fences where he didn't actually stop at any of the fences, like in front of the fence. It would be like maybe five strides before it, just because he'd be like, he'd kind of be like, oh my gosh, there's a horse there, something like that. So just green little moments. But um, he jumped every fence I asked him to jump. Then we got to the water, which was right at the end. It was around jump fence. 13 I believe and um, this is where we had a little bit of a green moment I don't think he's done water too many times and he just wasn't going near it at all which is fine you know he's a young horse he'd done everything so well up to that point and then we carried on I think there was a really skinny fence after the water so um, I let the horse that was in front of us go past because he just wasn't wanting to go near the water, but that's fine. So I decided, you know what, we'll go around it, we'll carry on, nice and lovely. Jumped over, and yeah, it was a skinny. And then after that I could feel, okay, he's getting a bit tired. He cannot manage this good cross country canter anymore just because, again, he's a bit unbalanced. So I decided for the last three fences, I think it was, there was only three left in the course. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna canter past them finish, get over the line, and overall I was super happy just because number one we finished the course, we were both fine, and he was still super confident because we hadn't like jumped any of the fences super dodgy, there was one where he kind of did a bit of a cat leap over, but apart from that everything else he jumped really beautifully, really happily, and overall it was a super successful day just because we'd taken him somewhere new, he was really well behaved, Although there were a few things he was looking at, a little bit green, you know, he's young and for a young horse, he went beyond and over all of my expectations of the day and um, he traveled perfectly home. The only thing he did, was, which was kind of funny, a little bit naughty, but I can't blame him that much, is after a ride, obviously, I washed him off, put his cooler on and he decided <laughs> in the car park while I was um, chatting and, you know, getting everything ready to go, he w decided to roll in his teal beautiful cooler and got it absolutely disgusting. I think I have a video of him rolling in it and he was filthy afterwards but he looked very happy with himself. I think he overall really enjoyed the day and it's such a shame because straight after that the um, England kind of went into lockdown and then it's like the busy Christmas period so we probably won't be competing until 2021 but um, I think the plan is to just get him out as much as possible to see the world and experience new things because riding a horse at home and then riding them at a competition, it's totally different. Um, for example, when I take Joey cross country schooling, he is very up for it. He has his big cross country canter because he ha can have breaks and things in between. Um, so the whole time he's taking me to the fences, I just need to make sure that we're going in a nice rhythm and that we're straight and things. But when I took him out there, I was very much having to hold his hand because he is green and he was somewhere new and he didn't really know what was happening. I was kind of, I was kind of like the whole way around. It's okay, Joey, let's go. Oh look, there's a jump, come on, let's go boy. Rather than him being like, okay, mummy, let's go, let's go. I'm really excited. So it was very, he was very different to ride at the Hunter trial, but overall, yeah, again, I'm really happy and I just can't wait to get back out with him again, really, because Obviously he's young, the more we do the better he's going to get and when you have a young green horse you don't expect to go out there and win, especially with him being only six. So because we had so much fun I was, and because we were going into a lockdown soon, I was itching to get back out again and obviously it was the end of the sort of cross country hunter trial eventing season so there weren't any more that we could do so I decided to take Joey back to Hickstead and this time really practice on our stamina when you're filming and things especially with a young horse 
and if it's a massive cross country field, I'll jump maybe two, three fences, then we'll have a bit of a break, maybe walk to a different area or um, make sure that we can like, you know, get it all on film and things and filming it. So um, I thought I'd take him to Hickstead, really work on our stamina, do a course of about 20 jumps. I think we ended up doing like 23 in the end and just make up a whole course, do it for a long time, get him in the zone, in our canter, get him focused. And when I took him to Hickstead, he felt incredible. We did a, yeah, a course of about 23 fences in the end. And every single one, he had that canter. We got to the jump. He was super confident. He just took me to every fence and it felt amazing. So I hope you enjoy the little footage. I actually wore my helmet cam in the end so you guys could see what it's like to ride Joey, especially cross country. And he was just flying, obviously in a controlled manner. We went out of control flying away, but no, he just felt amazing. So I hope you enjoy the footage. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed that footage of me at Hickstead and I thought I'd make this video being honest with you because technically the hunter trial was a bit of a fail because we did get eliminated but with these things, especially with young horses as well, it's so important to focus on the positives and the things that went right such as him travelling really well, him being good to be tacked up, having his studs in, him being at a new place for the first time and him being at our first sort of party with lots of other horses, a very different environment that 
I'm used to riding him in. And we then went back to Hickstead. We proved ourselves that yes, we can jump a course of, I think a few of the jumps there were 80 or even a meter or 90. So it was even bigger than what the hunter trial was. And it shows that he can do it. It's just getting used to riding him in that competition atmosphere. It's kind of a shame that obviously there aren't any more hunter trials this year, but there's always next year. There's a lot more shows and we're gonna go out there in 2021 and smash it, guys. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe, because it really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!